you. And the first thing I want to do is a little housekeeping. If you are under 16 years old, would you please stand up? If you're less than 16 years old, please stand up. Okay. Everybody who's under 16 standing up? If you're a little in the back, I see some people who don't look like they're 16 yet. Are you 16 back there, you two girls? You're 16? Uh, okay, anybody under 18 stand up? You can't be that old. No, no, but you keep standing up. Keep standing up if you're under 16. Okay, now would you please come down front if you're 16 or under, or under 16, come down front. The ones in the front row can stay, and the ones in the second row stay where you are. The rest of you, come down front, please, if you're under 16. If you're under 16, come on down front. Fantastic. Now, okay, look at all these great people. So Now, if it's okay with your parents, come to the middle, please. Everybody come in the middle, come in the middle. If it's okay with your parents, sit on the floor. If it's not okay with your parents, sit in one of these chairs up in the front rows. If it's okay with your parents, sit on the floor. Okay. And if it's not okay, sit in one of these chairs. Okay? Uh, are you sure you're not under 16, you two girls? Okay. All right. All right. Come on, come on, all you kids, come on, figure out a way to get up here. No, can you come up front? There's chairs up front in the first row. Come on up front, there's chairs in the first row. You got this? Okay, this is, okay. Perfect. Job. Now this is why I did this. This is why I did this. Because I know that uh, Inspires.Asia allowed this all to happen today. And Utah, of course. Thanks so much for Utah. Thanks for my... Wonderful introduction, what a great introduction. Uh, they arranged for this and they invited particularly three populations. They said people who are quote disabled, we're gonna talk about that word for a while. They said people who are under 20 something can, should come and people who are orphans should come. Well, I figure the most special parts of this great audience today are people under 16 because you guys are really cool. <laughs> and you guys are really smart. And I figure if the older people in the audience don't understand something that I say today, you can explain it to them, because you're so cool. So I want you to be up front where you can hear and see and, and be involved in it and not stuck in the back. So I'm thrilled that you're here. Now, I have a question. It's a quote, really, but I want to make it a question because I want you to explain it to me. And anybody's welcome to answer any of these questions and explain what they mean because we like participation. Anyone can count the seeds in a papaya, and no one can count the papayas in a seed. What does that mean? Anyone? Is there anybody here who couldn't count the seeds in a papaya? There's a lot of seeds. But if you open up a papaya, am I right about this? There's lots of seeds in a papaya? Is that true? But if you opened up a papaya, could you count the seeds? It might take a little while, but there's 50 seeds or 100 seeds or something. So everybody can do that, right? Okay. But no one can count the papayas in a seed. What does that mean? Somebody explain that. Boys, what does that mean? Well, in my opinion, it's... Stand, uh, stand up, please, so everybody can hear you. And what's your name, please? Uh, I'm Pata, from Munichan Swapco. Pata, thanks for coming here today. Right. Uh, well, in my opinion, since it's just like we don't know what the future is, it, since it's still in the seed form and it will grow to the two, three, and produce papaya, and we don't know how many the I mean, where do you get this smart guy? I want to know where they get this smart guy. Uh, are you a university student? Well, I'm... Um, you, you didn't graduate from university yet? I'm in high school. You don't have a master's degree? Yeah. How come you're so smart? That is a beautiful answer. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> the answer, 
basically was, you have no idea when you plant that papaya seed, what kind of a papaya tree you're going to get, and how many papayas are going to grow on the tree, and how many seeds are going to be in each of those papayas, and how many of those seeds will make other papaya trees, and on and on and on. But what does that mean, Mitchell? Why do you why do you talk about things like that? Well, because my question is, what kind of seeds are you planting? Do you have to be old to plant seeds? No. Do you have to have graduated from university to plant seeds? No. Do you need to be rich to plant seeds? No. no. All you have to do to plant a seed is want to do it. And then what would be a smart thing to do if you plant a seed? If you're going to plant a papaya seed, what would be a smart thing to do? Anybody have an idea? One good thing. What would be a good thing to do? If I gave you a papaya seed and said plant it, what would you do? Would you look for any particular good place? Such as? Yes? Like a garden with good soil. Good soil. Say good soil. It's kind of smart. If you take it out and put it on the highway, Probably not going to grow too many papayas, right? So good soil. What else would be a good thing to do if you're going to plant a papaya seed? Fertilizer. What's that? Fertilizer. 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 What are you going to fertilize it with? How are you going to support it? How are you going to help it grow, get better? We don't get to be big and strong by eating dirt, right? I mean, we have to eat the right food and get the right nutrition and, and be healthy. Well, that's kind of important for... Well then, okay, so you got fertilizer, you have good soil, you stick it in the ground, and walk away, right? See you later. Is that right? No? What do you have to do next? Take care of it. Water it, exactly right, take care of it, and you likely get a good, healthy papaya trees with good papayas, each one of which has in it seeds. So what kind of seeds are we planting in our lives? What kind of seeds? When I met you, I talked about that wonderful shirt with hearts on it. What a sweet message that sends out. Now you may just have a shirt because it's cool and you look great in it. But what a great message. What if it had arrows on it or daggers on it or uh, pistols on it or something like that? Instead, you're sending out a wonderful message, a message of love, a message of heart. A message of, that's a seed. You planted the seed when I saw that shirt, and it made me feel good. Did it change the world? A little bit. A little bit. Every time we go out, every time we look at somebody, every time we smile at somebody, every time we welcome somebody, every time we say to somebody who maybe isn't doing as well as we might hope. Maybe they're not even being as nice to us as we might hope. And we turn around and instead of saying, did anybody ever hear the expression, I want to get even with that person? Boy, am I going to get even with that person. Has anybody ever heard that expression? I've got a suggestion. I've got it. I've got it. It's almost an assignment. Now, this isn't school today, but I have a suggestion. How about if we get even, with the people that have been good to us. How about if that's your mission, that's your job today, is to get even with somebody who's done something nice for you. Say thank you. Thanks, Mom, for, for making that breakfast this morning. I realize you get up before me, you work really hard, you may have a job outside the home, or you work really hard raising the family and taking care of my home. And I'm just a kid, maybe, and, and maybe I can't do everything that you do. But just thanks, Mom. How would Mom feel? Have you done that lately? Yes, but not all of us. Not. How about getting even with your boss? Who sometimes you got eh, that boss. I'll tell you that boss. But that boss who gave you the great job or gave you the, the, the thank you, or the appreciation, or the promotion, or the opportunity to do something good. How about getting even with the people in our lives who have been good to us? That's planting seeds. And Malaysia is the great country it is today because of people planting good seeds. 
and it may not be as great a country as you would like it to be, because maybe we need to get more people planting seeds. America is a great country. Everybody hears all the good stuff about America, Arnold Schwarzenegger and, and uh, Hollywood and all the stuff about America. America's no better than Malaysia. America is a good country with problems, just like Malaysia. America is a country with good people, well-intentioned, mostly.